In this lesson, we'll cover the advanced sun and sky parameters. Let's start by clicking on the interactive render button. Then open the V-Ray Asset Editor and click on the Light tab. You'll see you have the sunlight there. Go ahead and click the Flyout option here, and we'll look at some of these parameters. Up at the top, by default, the color mode is set to Filter. There are other options here, but we'll leave it at Filter and change the color swatch here to filter the light. So if you want to keep the same time of day, but still warm the light up a bit, you can do that here by changing the filter color. Down under the Sky tab, the turbidity, when you set that value lower, you have clearer, more blue skies. And when you set the value higher, you'll have a hazier orange light. The ozone can be set to values between 0 and 1. At 0, the light is much more yellow. And at 1, it becomes a bit more blue. Finally, let's click on the Options tab here. And you'll notice this checkbox for Effect Specular. Before we check it, let's go over to the Frame Buffer and flip the menu down here and pick Specular. You'll notice the result is black. That's because you need to go back over and in the Settings tab, check off Material Override and make sure that Interactive Render restarts. And now you can see that specular render element where you can see the sun's reflections isolated from everything else in the rendering. Now back over in the asset editor in the light tab for the sunlight, under options, you can see effect specular here. And if you wanna make the brightness more powerful for the specular reflections, go ahead and set this value higher. I'll pick three and then come back over and see how that brightened up. Once you're done adjusting the specular, Flip it back to RGB and see how it impacts the main rendering. 